Okay, hello guys, I'm Jay and welcome to Trinity. Okay, so today I'm going to introduce you another types of zombie decks. Okay, so currently most famous zombie will be the Shiranui and the Mayakashi. But there is another zombie which is Doom King. Okay, Doom King is quite strong but it is not as good as the Shiranu and the Mayakashi because they, they are practically one card combo and the Doom King itself will require two, three cards sometimes two, sometimes three so it is not a one card combo over here but if you have the necessary card it will become a super duper annoying deck okay so let me explain what it do okay so now we the skill that i'm going to use will be the ultimate fusions okay and there is different skill as well so maybe you can go for the bandit Keith skill to switch between cards or anything so but why that i'm using ultimate fusions okay since they already have the super poly okay so because that of the nettle soul okay i can snatch two of the monster on the field okay to fusions so literally if i had zombie world opponents is also a zombie so i will just snatch over maximum two of the monster to fusion the neck grow nether soul dragons okay so that's why if you can go for this or the ultimate fusion it depends other skill is good as well but i were to protect myself i go for the ultimate fusions okay so the main engine and the main end game bot will be the doom king okay the doom king is very strong because what right, if you have a fail zone on the or on the field okay on the field fail zone okay so you if you have a zombie world or something so if on the standby phase you can resummon back so there's a different there's a, a lots of different ways of combo to resolve within the doom king okay so and another thing is that once per chain okay you can negate zombie monster so if you have a zombie world so literally that you can negate them as well or you can banish them so it depends on how you're going to play it because that this is sometimes required big brain because this is once per chain okay once per chain okay and you can activate only once effect once okay so you can once per chain you can negate once per chain you can banish so literally you can use two the effect in one turns and then if you can chain your own monster to banish opponents okay so if opponents not going to activate anything because they scared that they negates you or they banish you right so the best way is to activate yours and then you chain under the monster and then you banish the monster okay good is you can banish cards on the field and on the graveyard monster okay so that's why the doom king barlow drosh i think i'm not sure how to pronounce it is quite broken okay and it can keep on revive itself as long as there is a field spell on the field okay so zombie world will be the most ideal cards okay so let's discuss the other okay i'm playing with one gozuki gozuki is quite good because you can send one cast into the graveyard okay then you will trigger the effect okay so this is how the combo works okay so the first that you need zombie world okay zombie world you can get it luck if you're lucky enough then you can get it first on your hand if not you can summon the banshee or you can throw the banshee depends on how you're going to do it and then you can activate quick effect to set a zombie world onto the field okay so banshee will be the core card the search engine for the zombie world okay and then uh then the main is the glow up bloom because the glow up bloom is that if when it goes into the graveyard if you have a fail spell you have a zombie world fail spell you can directly special summon a monster from your deck so literally is that you get a zombie world so you can use the gozuki throw the glow up bloom okay you can use the uni zombie to throw the glow up bloom or if you have this on the hand maybe you can use the check or bolon discard a zombie type and then discard the glow up bloom then you can summon the doom king okay so there is few ways to do it and okay so literally that 
uni zombie will be the quite important thing because you can summon down the uni zombie activate the effect discard cards from the hand to okay ah uh, level up so it depends on what you have okay if bloom is on your hand so you're going to activate the skill then discard one card from the deck to the graveyard so you're going to discard the necro world banshee and the necro world banshee activates put on the zombie world okay after the zombie world's activated activate uni zombie again discard the bloom from your hand to the graveyard and then summon the doom king okay this is one of the combo if not is vice versa if you have this then you will throw banshee first okay so bloom forever the last and banshee will be the first because you need to set up your zombie world onto the field so this is your engine and then skull samurai will be the same as the gozuki gozuki can activate every turn and then samurai skull will be once per turn so to summon you can discard one card into the graveyard then you activate so depends on what you need maybe you can go for the banshee or you can go for the glow up bloom okay so mezuki will be the thing that for you to special summon a monster back onto the field okay so depends you can summon any of this okay depends because that you can summon this back this back anything good mezuki is quite good because you can resummon your monster okay but it depends on situations most of the situation you will be depending on the banshee the uni zombie and the glow up bloom most probably okay so the red princess will be your protections okay reduce all the attacks uh, end of the turns super polymerization yes important zombie world 2 i think will be okay if opponents manage to destroy two of your zombie world then you just surrender <laughs> no need to do anything okay because that really there is nothing for you can do okay there is nothing for you to do okay then the terror of the overrules depends okay this is all the trees limit three card situations trap cards depends on the situation or how you're going to do it and then returns to zombie you can banish one summon back one and then end of the turn recover mark because it says that you can banish one zombie monster so if you have a zombie wall onto the field literally you can banish them as well okay banish one zombie type monster on the field then special summon one zombie type who is controlling if i banish the opponents maybe i can resummon another monster which is lower and not so good onto the field okay so i you say so it's good because they banish one then special summon it is a non-targeted that's why this card is very good okay because it's not a target one of zombie master banish it it just says banish one zombie monster so this is a non-targeted spell traps good very strong and it can keep on recycle so one is more than enough okay so let's go with the extra deck okay so nettle soul dragon is depends okay you can use one to two depends i feel that sometimes you can go with two but i don't have it so i play with one only so the Shri shiranui square saga is all depends okay you don't really use it often because the only thing that you need is this because the other two here it won't trigger because you don't have any fire and you don't have any synchro so the only thing you have is the zombie type so you can just power up 300 that's all so if you have two you have two nether world dragon just go for it okay these two so the rest here the most important will be the Dread savior and the vampire sucker why is it because first during damage calculations you can send one zombie from the deck to the graveyard reduce the attack and in that case you also can summon the monster because here it doesn't say that you need to summon during the main phase a standby phase or anything so you discard the glow up bloom okay so you discard the glow up bloom the glow up bloom triggers and then summon the doom king okay so this depends on the situation for this too so if you need to destroy a special monster or to destroy that row then you can access to the nightmare and then same the vampire sucker is for you to draw target one or opponent graveyard special summit to opponent defense position and it becomes a zombie type monster so it depends on the situation if you want to interrupt their graveyard okay you scared that they have something activate in the graveyard 
so you just revive them put it onto the field then that is a destruction for them and then if not summon a zombie okay a special summon are uh, from either graveyard draw one this is for you to draw power so you will be most likely depending on the savior more than the vampire sucker but vampire sucker is good when you need to interrupt the graveyard or to draw okay so basically this is the introduction and this is the way how you play with the zombie decks okay so let's see how to combo and i will try to guide as much as possible hope you guys stay tuned with it so let's go okay so let's try out with the npc and i will guide on how to combo okay so actually it's not so difficult okay so that just for you have a very easy understanding on how to do this okay so now we can see that i have the zombie wall on my hand and i have the skull samurai skull okay so the thing is that you need to go for the zombie wall first okay so i set with the zombie wall and then i go with the samurai skull activate the skill okay and then i need to throw something into graveyard so now i already have the zombie wall so i don't really need to throw the banshee so the only thing i need to throw will be the grow up blue okay with that it activates since i i have the zombie wall okay activate this and then i can summon the doom king belarot on to the field and then nothing i can do so i just enter okay so with that i can negate i can banish okay so it summon the first okay he set one card and third okay so basically this is how you're going to do it okay so i will try to banish for you to see okay so now activate this okay so go one two and i go for the uh Avendred savior okay so activate target okay so with that it triggers because this is once per chain okay i can negate or i can banish so i activate it okay so it's per chain so i can choose negate the effect or banish so if opponent's effect so i can negate that since that i can chain under the effects and i negate them so if they know that they don't want to get banished so you will initiate the chain yourself okay if you initiate your chain yourself then you can banish them so i can banish one since that everything on the field is zombie so i can banish them so you just need to think a way to start up the chain and then you can banish them already okay so with that empty let's go one two four win that's it so this is one of the way to do it okay so we have the key cards over here so we have the blob we have the uni zombie so the thing now is that i need to we i need to go for the banshee okay so i start off with the uni zombie okay so activate uni zombie activate the second skill to discard one card from the graveyard not from the deck so okay i'm changing myself not targeting it so i need the zombie wall discard <clears throat> activate and then set up the zombie world okay so literally this is how it works so activate and i activate the first skill i change my level again so i discard the glow up bloom okay so the blooms activate and i summon my doom king okay so now the situation is that i will not able to do anything so the only thing that i can do is to attack over okay so this going to protect it so i just going to attack over the dot scaper and turn okay nothing i can do over here so this is practically how you summon the doom king using 
one using the uni you using the uni zombie and then one cards on the hand so it's either the card so you can have banshee or you can have the bloom on the hand so it's totally depends okay so i activate the marzella protects it so activate the marzella resummon change the level or whatever never mind so let's go okay so now i activate something okay so i'm going to discard something so yes okay i'm changing the level so i activate this so i'm going to chain it okay so i self-chaining i'm not going to negate myself so i'm going to banish something so i banish this since that this card is uh okay quick effect negate banish okay it doesn't mention target okay so it is a non-targeted negate non-targeted banish okay so change the attack positions and then let's go so first attack this second attack over this so the beauty of it is that you can chain under your own effect okay you can you can start you can initiate your chain and then you can trigger the doom king to banish your opponent so it depends okay it's going to attack over okay that goes bye bye okay my turn draw so activate yes i can divide my doom king every turn okay as long as i got a field spell i can keep on revive my doom king okay so now attack uh okay another turn so not going to get the ko from this okay sineto mining okay cyber wizard okay so you go ahead enter no bring it so basically this is how you're going to play your game so it's depends on the luck sometimes if you're lucky you get a very good hand then you can go on with this kind of combo okay <clears throat> okay so let's go on with another example <clears throat> okay so now this is with who i also forget who is this already okay united pendulum so this will be so far caught is it yes okay so with here you can see that i have the key cards I need that okay so yes i directly activate zombie world without the needs of banshee so now i activate zombie so i can directly throw up the glow up bloom so i can directly summon the doom king onto the field set my super poly onto the field and then enter okay so let's speed up a bit so i'm going to negate it not letting it to search so let's go 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 set three at the back discard using the super poly tribute to zombie directly go for the nettle souls okay so activate the glow up bloom again summon my doom king so this return so you can discard this card also it's very good because this is a non-targeted banish banish one on the field it is a non-targeted so attack attack it and the emperor's stuff very annoying okay never mind attack it with a one point three so basically this is the game because i got one ban non-targeted banish and non-targeted negate and i have two on the field okay so it summons down activate so chain negates battle okay so take the hit destroy okay so let's go samurai scout this negate this i again negate it <coughs> so attack get destroyed so i using this taking it out resummon back attack attack triggers become zero and the token hit it 
So this is basically how you're going to play with the zombie deck. If the all it all depends on what you have on your hand. Okay, so if your hands are good, then you have tons of combo to do with. Okay, let's go on with another match. Okay, actually the zombie deck is quite good actually to me. I feel that it's very nice. And just that somehow you just sometimes need a very lucky hand to start. Okay, that's the thing because it is not turn it is not a <clears throat> what is all one card combo deck. Okay, it requires few cards. Okay, so nothing I can do about it. So set I taking the chance. <clears throat> so go arrow get it back set it out I dragon prison banish wolf okay so did that I got lucky get the zombie wolf and then go <clears throat> and again banish this one get hit hit win easy okay so let's go on with the next match Okay, I think this is another one. Jaden Yugi. This one is with hero, I guess. If not mistaken, this should be with a hero deck. Mm -hmm. Eternal Bond. So it's a Ubel deck. Okay, so with that, you can see that I don't start out with a very good hand, but that is still a combo to go. Okay, so I show you. So first, I use the Jack Bolan. The Jack Bolan can be special summoned by discarding a card. So I activate this, I discard the Banshee. The Banshee activates to get the Zombie World. Okay, so with that, I summon the Skull. The Skull throw one card from the deck to the graveyard. So the Bloom, the Bloom out, we have the Doom King. Set become the Avengered, and then and turn. So we have all this kind of stuff. Good, nice. Okay, so let's go. Eternal Bond. Contract, so let them do the thing. So, 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 attack. So, I get hit for the attack. So, now it attacks over three girls. I left with the 400. And then I activate the Savior. I throw out the Mareza. The Mazera. Reduce. Okay, so I survive for another turn. Taking the Super Poly into the account. Okay, so with that, the next turn I return my Doom King onto the field, activate the Super Poly, taking out two of this, taking out two of this. Okay, so I get this, and the Elemental Hero Neos Clue Girl will activate its effects to summon the Wise Man, but since that it is a zombie, so I will negate it. Okay. So again, activate the Mezuki. Mezuki can summon back one uh, zombie. So I resummon the Mazera. So to protect myself in order because that there is nothing other there is nothing activatable at the back. So there is chance that it is a trap. Okay, battle traps. Okay, so I go with the Vampire Sucker resummon. So I get a hand. I get to draw. Okay, so to draw and I chain under my Doom King to banish the Neos to ensure that there is no monster onto the field and I get to draw one card and now I link summon to the Phoenix and then destroy the cards at the back and it is a drowning mirror force. And then hit hit and then win. Good. Easy. So basically, this is how you play along with the zombie decks, and then it should be fun, and it is slightly competitive if you know that how and which to combo with what you have on your head. Okay, so there's a lot of ways you will the main mainly you will depending on the uni zombie, and but you will need to have a banshee or a bloom on the hand to do the two card combo okay or like this you can use the jet bolan discard and use the uh the samurai skull and you continue with the combo there's a lot of way to do that but still it is not a one card combo so the chances to break is high okay the chances to break is still very high so 
it depends and maybe it's fun to play but i feel that it is still a very competitive deck it is competitive deck but if you want to have a high win rate still tachyon will be the best choice over here okay so that's all and i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial so if you all like it please give a thumbs up because i'll comment anything if you feel that can add on towards this deck make this deck even greater please comment below and then if you like it do subscribe and this will helps me a lot appreciate so i guess i will see you in the next guide okay so thank you arigato sanara bye bye